Also, I'm sorry, P.S. I know I talked earlier in the week about um, King Tutan, um, Ak Amun, Tutan, or King Tut. I spoke on him earlier this week about how, I, if you go back and uh, look at that video, it's called um, the, the Gift from um, the Boy King. Anyway, um, basically the next day, I went walking in the same direction. I was like, I know I'm not going to find no other treasure. You know, what else am I going to find going this way? And so I'm going that way, getting ready to go up the hill. And on the outside of the thrift store, they have all these books. And I just look at the books like, you know, two, you know, little piles of books. Yeah, you know, you know, I don't feel anything from those books. I get to the end and behind the book, the boxes of the books, and I look on the ground. And it just seemed like the sun was beaming on it. And guess what was there? Treasures of Tutankhamun Amun. I was like, oh my goodness. They have lots of jokes, right? I was like, this is not real. There's no other books around, you know, related to Africa. Nor would these, these two books could have been on the same day. But no, this book comes out the next day as if someone is playing tricks on me, right? The Treasures of Tutankhamun. Now, or King Tut. Now, as we know, you know, his um, tomb was raided into um, in 1922. And uh, if we all are not aware, uh, there are so many more treasures that we haven't seen of King Tut that's unbelievable. But some of the things that they got in the museums or that they didn't sell or give away or hide uh, are, you know, in books like this in the museums, etc., etc. But, you know, the treasures are unbelievable. Um, this book was from the 1970s and um, it's the most important, most magnificent collection of Egyptian art ever to come to the United States. And uh, I'm not sure who this book belonged to, uh, but this is, of course, King Tut's name and uh, produce, you know, basically inscription. Uh, protection over his name that's what the caduce is about and uh it says to judy and jim christmas 77 this book somebody can take good care of this book since 1977 see <laughs> and ed i'm not sure who ed is i don't know if it's the author i couldn't find it or a gift from somebody but anyway uh just to look at some of this stuff i'll just share briefly is uh, profoundly from his tomb uh, just pictures <laughs> and it's much more you know this his treasures just him this boy king 19 throughout his life <laughs> just to share some of this stuff you know and this right here is basically, I found this very interesting uh, when a body from ancient Egypt is uh, embalmed or created into a mummy. In some instances, they took out all the organs because they basically energy fields and um, uh, chakras. Um, but sometimes they left the brain in or they took it out and throw it away. But in some instances, they left the brain inside of the skull. But, you know, and they put it on top of this. And this is a um, ivory headrest. It's a headrest where they put the head on because they elevated the mind in death. But uh, there's just so much I could talk about in here. And uh, this treasure, this gift. I'm not sure, but uh, this is when it was first opened, some of the treasure found there. But <laughs> as we know, the solar eclipse is coming again, uh, I think July the 2nd, and 2018, when August, when there was a um, full solar eclipse, you know, some interesting things happened to me as well. But anyway, I just wanted to come forth and share this P.S. 
of an additional gift from the King Tut. Anyway, thanks for visiting the city and I hope you all have a beautiful evening. That's it for Sunday. Take care.